Hi, my name is Sean Mars, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to show you the Transient Explorer in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. So I'm running a time-dependent analysis using the new free surface flow options in 2018. And in order to see this water flowing into this empty pipe, I want to be able to use my cut plots to show me an animation of that water first filling it. So I want to actually be able to see time steps throughout my transient study. So the Transient Explorer allows you to do that. It's really a saving option, um, and it basically helps you create these animations. So in order to do it, uh, you need to have a time-dependent study already set up here. Um, but before you run the study, you need to go ahead and right-click on Input Data, go to Calculation Control Options, over to the Saving tab, and then turn on this periodic checkbox under the selected parameters, parentheses, Transient Explorer. So what this is going to do is it's going to start uh, right at the beginning of the calculation, and it's going to save parameters on every iteration. So these are the default settings. Um, if you turn up this period number, it will give you less data points. So your animations won't be as smooth, but your results folders won't be quite as large in terms of memory. So uh, other than that, you need to determine which parameters you want to choose. So depending on which types of result plots you want to create, um, this is where you need to tell it now what information it's going to be saving. So I'm going to be doing that free surface flow, water flowing into an empty pipe. So I'm doing things like the mass and volume fraction of air and water. OK, other than that, once you have that on, you just need to go and run your study. And then when the results come in, you need to right click on your results folder and turn on the Transient Explorer. Once you do that, it will make any specific time steps available. And I'll talk about this little playback bar in a moment here. Uh, but I just want to mention that only certain types of plots are going to be available. So cut plots, surface plots, ISO services, XY plots, and then your goal plots. Any of the plots that you made in the standard results will be available. And you can also create new ones while you're in the Transient Explorer. Other than that, you just go up to this playback bar here, and you can hit the little play button. And you'll see that it's going through my time step. It's just a half second here. Or you can grab the uh, little playback marker and scrub it back and forth. In today's video, we covered the Transient Explorer, which is a great way to investigate and animate your time-dependent analyses. Thanks for watching.